All right, guys, Coach George Tatis here, and thumbs down, thumbs down to Rogue Fitness. Rogue Fitness for increasing our prices yet again. Second big price increase of 2020, and about the third or fourth big price increase uh, since the pandemic started. So, uh, September 2021, Friday, September the 10th, Prices went drastically up on so many items. For example, my dream item, uh, calibrated weights to kilogram. I had an invoice given out. I had an invoice uh, given out to uh, Rogue Customer Service because I was getting uh, um, an RM4 cage done. I'm getting the calibrated weights done and a few other sort, just to complete my gym build, okay? Basically, give you guys a number. The number was 13000 $200 tax included shipping and then the next day when I woke up when I noticed that something that I bought the previous day I bought vest I bought a vest the hundred pound vest and the 45 pound vest uh, because uh, the vests were out of order and we had to get some somebody notified me that the prices went up so I quickly went I'm like man I saved 65 bucks because the price went up on the hundred pound and then I looked the price went up on everything and my dream plates my calibrated weights that I sent the invoice in before they went up $900 to give you guys an indication the the set the 459 kilogram set for uh, the the calibrated weights is around $3200 and it went one day big jump 4100 bucks 4100 bucks so here's the thing guys my recommendation during the pandemic was get whatever gym equipment you can afford get whatever gym equipment is available and those two did not always intersect okay because you might have had a barbell that was available but you didn't like it but you say you were gonna wait my recommendation was not to wait go get what you can because you don't know how long that waits gonna be and to be honest with you <laughs> experience has shown that the people that didn't wait just grabbed what was available did much much better than people that were waiting because some people are waiting months for a barbell and they just ruined their whole man I should have got it yeah you should have got it okay buy what's available buy what you can afford and try and get those roads to connect as much as possible. Now this year, since April of 2021, uh, the stock issues, especially with Rogue, has been largely eliminated. Basically, you can get whatever you want, okay? So basically, uh, it's go get it if you need it, and get it before the price goes up, okay? Because we know that with shipping prices going up, steel prices going up, we've already had major increases. Economists are warning us that things are going up, okay? So my biggest recommendation this year has been go get it before the price goes up. So for example, this safety uh, squat bar here, I bought it for $490 last year, okay? Bought that last August, okay? Right now it's 625 bucks with the increase. Actually, it's two increases since I bought it. So I bought it for 490, then it went to 570, and now it's 625-ish. This I bought last year for 901, now it's about 1100. But I told you I got screwed up on my uh, calibrated weights. They went up 900 bucks, okay? And um, the sled, the sled, okay? That sled over there, the little uh, fat boy sled, I bought it for 174. Then it went up to uh, 194, and now it's 225. Here's the problem. This dog sled that I bought for 354 is now 385. So basically that has gone up $75 in the last couple of months, okay? I bought that in January. So, and this has only gone up 30 bucks in a year. So you can tell Rogue is screwing us up somewhere around here, okay? But my recommendation these days is jump in the market, okay? So basically buying gym equipment has become like buying a house. You can't afford it, but you can probably get credit for it. And there's no better price than the current price. Okay, so for example, I know a lot of people 15, 20 years ago when the average house in Toronto was something like 245. People are like, oh, the house is not going to be 245. The average house in Toronto was like 900,000. So the people that didn't buy at 245, either they got to pay the 900,000 now or they had to jump in somewhere uh, way above that. So they've lost money. Same thing with the gym equipment. This last year was 360. Okay, then it went up to 400. I just bought it for 400. August 31st just came in. I just opened it up today. Okay, uh, went up 40 bucks. So right now it's 440. Okay, 
The only thing I'm worried about now is my RM4. I'm just waiting for confirmation. So I was actually trying to jump in with my invoice, my $13,200 uh, $13, invoice. I was trying to jump in before the next increase, which actually I thought was going to be the, the cage because the R3 West Side cage actually went up 100 bucks this year. It went up in April. That was the first big jump uh, of this year. So guys, last year when there was nothing in stock, but something might have been available, I would have just said grab it, at least you can work out. And we already knew back then that the price, steel prices were rising. You'll, you'll get your money back. You might even get more than your money back, just like one of these uh, York plates. I told people, you're buying them, but you're leasing them because you're gonna be selling them for more than you bought them eventually if you wait long enough. Same thing with this now, the Galute ham raise. I bought this for 901, now it's $1,100. So let's just say I was one of those people that bought it because it was available. I'm not really a glued ham raise guy. I am. I'm just making a story. But now I want to sell it. Now I would get my $900 back and get my that I invested in. So I didn't lose anything. So I used it for a year and I got my money back. So it's bad news for people that didn't jump in the market to say, hey, I really want that. And I'll save it. A lot of people were telling me, no, coach, I'm going to save up for the... Just had a discussion this week, actually, for the safety squat bar. A guy asked me if I had an extra one. I said, you better go get it because the prices are going to go up. And he knows that I got that for $4.90. And he was kind of mad that it was $5.70. Well, this Friday, it just jumped from $5.70 to $6.25. And shipping costs, labor costs, fuel costs, everything costs, okay? Don't know, you know, things are just going out of whack. So buying gym equipment has become like buying a house. You got to jump in. Okay, you just got to jump in and grab what you can afford. Okay, and there's a lot of good stuff out there guys I'm not just talking about rogue There's a lot of good stuff out there that will serve you well for years like this cage here Can serve me well if I decide not to get ripped off because I right now I feel ripped off because the weights went up $900 on the calibrated weights, but the weights didn't go up the price didn't go up on the deep dish or whatever so Lord of believes Leaves me to believe that Rogue Fitness was very um, intentional on in what they raised the prices on. Because you can't tell me that that piece of steel there that weighs 35 pounds, okay, this guy right here, okay, weighs 31 pounds, went up $75 this year, and this guy right here that weighs 130 pounds uh, only went up $35 in a year. There has to be some kind of issue going on, okay? What I think is that for the specialty situations, okay, like if you're buying calibrated weights, you probably got money or you probably need calibrated weights. So Rogue probably went and attacked us and raised the price up on that. But the deep dish, they probably make a lot of money off those deep dish because they're made in America. I think the calibrated are made in China. And they don't have to pay as much and they figure that more people can afford it so they've made something more affordable and the things that people really need if they're competing if they're competing or if you know having the right amount of weight and the calibrated weight is really important to you they'll raise the price on that can't raise the price on that but raise the price on that so basically you're raising the price on an item to cover the cost of all the items but then somebody that really needs a particular specialty item like a specialty bar like this this has gone from 360 to 440 in one year something's wrong right at the other point there's other bars that haven't gone up like here's a, a rogue curl bar this has only gone up seven dollars in the last year okay same with the rackable it's only gone up seven dollars in one year but the safety squat bar has gone up over a hundred dollars in a year okay so regardless of what's going on, that's really not our business. Our business is making sure that we have our gym. We don't know what's gonna happen in the future. We don't know if the gyms are gonna shut down again. We don't know if anything worse is gonna come of that. But we know that we can't trust gyms and we need our own equipment for a contingency plan or a real plan, okay? So whereas my suggestion before was buy what's available, what you can afford, now maybe you can't afford to wait. Maybe you can't afford to save because the price of the gym equipment is outpacing the amount that you can save up for. Do you understand? You can't save up money that fast. It's going up. A lot of this equipment has gone up 40% in the last year. You probably haven't saved 40%. Okay, you're saving up for this bar, you're saving up for those calibrated weights, but they just went up 900 pounds. So you're not saving as much because you're, the, the cost is outpacing you. Okay, so basically the same thing as a house. Okay, so now you have to figure out how can I jump into the market and lock in that price 
so I have my gym and I don't have to worry about this, okay? I also have another philosophy of just buying what's available or buying something that's a, like a lifetime purchase. Like this is a lifetime purchase, my Ohio Power Bar over there that I bought for 354 and it's like 375 now is a lifetime purchase. My RM4 that I want to buy is a lifetime purchase. My calibrated weights are a lifetime purchase. Those are going to the grave with me. You know what I mean? So now you got to figure out, hey, do I have a gym that I can use forever? But I don't care what kind of weights they are. I don't really care what kind of barbell it is. Or do I want a lifetime purchase? But the only thing you are certain of is that there's no better price than now, today, than what you're seeing. The prices are not going down anytime soon. The price of steel is not going down. Labor is not going down. Shipping is not going down nothing okay actually we bought a tombstone for my grandmother and actually if we bought it after april 2021 he told us we would have paid an extra 3600 dollars in shipping can you imagine that has nothing nothing to do with his price of the, the 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 monument he's telling us that that's extra we would have paid for because the shipping costs have rise there's another company that i won't mention their prices have gone up two times in the last five weeks okay got an email like four weeks ago we just got an email now that the prices are going up again and then you can be sure that the prices are going up so can you afford to wait and save can you afford to listen it's showing us that we can't do that you got to jump in you got to figure out what do i need what can i afford how can i make this happen and all you know is that if you're going to only save 150 dollars a month but your weights are going up 900 bucks in one shot or a barbell is going up 80 bucks uh, a year, sleds are going up 70 bucks, whatever, this is going up 200 bucks. You know, at the end of the day, just like my invoice, my invoice was $12, $13,200 on Thursday, and then because of the price increase on Friday, my invoice was $15,500. That's $2,200 increase. You can't save that. For me, that's, if you were saving even $200 a month, it was $200 that you probably just could have put on credit and paid it off, barred it off somebody, barred it off a loved one, and you would have paid it off and you would be better off than waiting, okay? Because at least today you know what the price is, okay? And you probably can't afford it in the future anyways because everybody's living in a debt-based society anyways, just like a house. We can't afford it, but we're jumping in to receive that price. Hope this helps, guys. That's basically my look take on things i got screwed up too because i just lost i just lost 2300 dollars too now because i didn't get my calibrated weight and i want them and i'll be paying for them and i'll be paying 900 bucks because of my stupidity because i am not following my own advice of if it's available go grab it right so now we're at a stage where we actually know and you got to jump in just like a house you just got to jump in okay so no better time than to jump in and lock in your gym equipment price lock in and build your gym and the prices are only going up and things are only getting worse so the best thing you can do for your health your physical health your mental health your family's health just go and get a gym equipment get what you need and pay off however you want but again uh, paying off even with interest is probably going to be even cheaper long term than sustaining like a 40% increase, a 5% increase, whatever. You know, even shipping for Rogue, it used to be a freight, $494 Canadian. Now freight is $525, so that's 5% up. All right, Coach Tennis out. Jump in, get your stuff, train hard, and don't let nobody push you around. Just go get it. We're all going to pay for it one day anyways. Like, subscribe, share, and um, yeah, good luck with your build. End it with a thumbs up, okay? That's the way it is. End it with a thumbs up. Even when people try to bring you down, just bring it up, all right? All right, Coach Tate is out.